Welcome back everyone to Outward Platinum Walkthrough. In this episode we are going to leave the Chersonese. We will make our way towards the Hallowed Marsh. So I think it's a good time as any to do a little recap on the things that have been happening so far. So in the beginning we did a few minor quests uh, for people in Sierzo. We have the Ledger to Berg, which is still active. This will be accomplished a little later on, but we finished Helen's Fungus, the repeatable quests Need Sierzo Ceviche and Alchemy Crystal Powder. We have also found our first unique armor set, the Merton set, which does not provide any defense, it's only cosmetic, so you can skip it if you want. We have also learned a few skills. Burak taught, taught us Enrage, and we learned the uh, passive skills, fitness and steady arm from Edo. We have also gained a tribal favor, so we can save our, our nice little uh, lighthouse so we don't have to buy it back. We have also been quite lucky to receive two power coils before leaving this area, so we could get the nice backpack with a huge capacity. We have also been visiting the Immaculate for the first time. He taught us the Possessed skill and also we have killed a Shell Horror which granted us another trophy. We were also able to craft our nice, vicious, savage horror axe over here. It will carry us for a majority of the, of the things to come. We were also paying a visit to the, uh, to the Cabal Hermit, basically, who taught us the Call to Elements and the Weather Tolerance. While we were there, we activated the Wind Temple for this region, so that is out of the way. Um, we've also been going to the Blister Burrow to get this nice little mushroom shield for Helen in Sierzo. Luckily, I found a second one, so I can keep using this one. And I have also learned the uh, Pommel Counter from Burak for two-handed swords. It's over here. And I have learned the uh, Cool Boon from the Second Watcher deep inside Conflux Mountain. So we saved our lighthouse, we have options available to us, we have skills learned, we have items crafted, and we have already defe uh, also defeated our first unique enemy, the Mad Captain Bones in the Pirate's Hideout for the Occult Remains and the Large Emerald. They have been useful already and will be uh, useful later on. We looted Argonson's Dash near the shipwreck that is quite quite close to us. We were visiting the Voltaic Hatchery for a little trip. We claimed the Light Mender's Lexicon and I also got my ass beaten. I, uh, I, I died the first time. <laughs> I hopefully this count will stay pretty low, but it might happen eventually. So, there's also a trophy for learning 50 recipes in total. So this is for crafting, for cooking and also the alchemy. I'm going to show you the recipes that I have learned already. The bolt, the bolt rag, the bullet, fang axe, fire rag, horror axe, ice rag, makeshift leather attire, makeshift leather boots, makeshift leather hat, the poison rag, and spikes iron, the trip briar trap is the final one we have learned from survival, crafting basically. The alchemy recipes I have learned, uh, the cooking recipes I mean, is bitter spicy tea, Sierra ceviche, dry mushroom bar, gay berry jam, Jerky, Lux Lichette, Minos Omelette, Mineral Tea, Pungent Paste, Soothing Tea, and Torment Pottage. Our alchemical recipes are Warm Potion, 
Astral Potion, Blessed Potion, Charged Toxic, Crystal Powder, Life Potion and the Mist Potion. So, we have also already received the trophies for both uh, cooking with four ingredients and using our al alchemy kit with four ingredients. So yeah, slow and steady wins the race, I think. But this is everything I want to do for now, just to give you a little overview over the map, so you know where we have been already. Wait, that was the wrong button. <laughs> so we started out in Sierzo, moved down here through Sierzo storage, visited the starfish cave, should be right around here. We had a quick visit to the truck infiltration somewhere around here. We were uh, visiting the Conflux mountain here. We visited the pirate's hideout here. It's labeled as ancient ruins. And somewhere over here was the Immaculate's camp, which led us to the uh, ghost pass all the way over here to the Cabal of Wind Tower, which is basically the home of the Cabal Hermit of Edelbard was his name, I think. And finally, we have been dipping our toe into the Voltaic Hatchery, which was not as successful as I wanted, but we got what we came for. You can see over here, uh, south of the Vigil Pylon is the entrance to Enoka Forest, and the northern region is housing the entrance to the Hallowed Marsh, and this is the place I want to go first because it loops, loops nicely to Enmerka Forest, so there's not much back and forth. And let's get a move on. We want to move north. Okay, you guys can leave me alone, I think. Please don't shoot me in the back. Okay. I've also been um, revisiting a few of my uh, first parts of this playthrough. Unfortunately, there are some quality drops. I, I work on that. I'm trying to figure it out and fix it. The audio is sometimes glitching. The video is sometimes a little grisly. And sometimes there is some, some static in the, in the background. But I promise betterment. <laughs> So one thing I want to do is quickly run up here through this little corrupted zone. There can be a caravaner here when you're lucky, but the main reason that we came here is this little uh, supply cache. Just in case you didn't get your two power coils yet. And we can slide down this hill. Down here we can see something like a robot, lifeless on the ground, and another shell horror, pierced with a variety of weapons. Hmm. Looks like some big battle happened here. I mean, yeah, big battle. It's two enemies, but it requires a few people to swing so many weapons and stick it into a shell horror, I think. All right. I'm not sure anymore if we already visited this supply cache over here. No, we didn't. Okay. Traps are always nice. The only thing I don't like to see in these is arrows, because you can't sell them. At least the regular ones can't be sold. Now you can see Ghost Pass in the distance. And you can also... Oh, you can't see it now. Yeah, there's a lantern right over my backpack, which basically marks, marks our path towards Hallowed Marsh. But... One more supply cache down here. All right, more traps, spikes. So, changing regions. When you're, cha when you're changing a region, you need a few tra travel rations. We learned that from Risa. 
and also a certain number of days passes. All right, I'll take this stuff. Also, what happens, your needs will be back at 100%. So food, drink and sleep will be restored completely. You don't have to uh, sleep beforehand or eat any more food. It's a nice feature, can be a little bit annoying if you, ha if you have a specific build, but in general, it's a nice feature. What do you want, man? them again so this is the exit in case you are also playing with a second character via blitz split screen you want to call it in to drop off at least all of your food items because as I said a few days will pass which will deteriorate deteriorate your food and I'm personally not a huge fan of that guess it's part of the survival aspect of the game but I don't dig it I like to keep my stuff in good shape so do I want to drop off anything no not really I don't care too much I have my travel, travel rations ready in case you don't have any you can either go right into your crafting um, crafting menu and you can make some basically with your bare hands but it is not as effective I would recommend you use a, a cooking pot like a little kitchen or, th or something but let's head several travel to hallowed marsh let's confirm Right now we are in Hallowed Marsh, little swamp area. Looks very different from the Chersonese. One thing I want to do is have a look at my food items. As you can see, they have been, yeah, should I say, they lost dura durability. You know what I mean when I say that. Uh, in case you have a tent, it's not a bad idea to just go ahead and sleep just for a short while. So you can have a stamina bonus while we are running through this area. But it's also it's also possible without. So this is a very short episode. I want to um, yeah, I want to leave Hallowed Marsh for the next video. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you got as far with the recipes and with the equipment as I did. Unfortunately, one thing that I'm missing dearly is the pearl bird mask. There are only pearl birds in the Chersonese, so rotten luck for me. But we can manage without it. It's just a little convenience. Okay, with that out of the way, I'm going to bid my farewells. Wind be at your back, my friend. See you in the next one.